Welcome to Photo Escapes, a behind the scenes photography series featuring professional travel photographers Matthew William Zellis and John Alexander. We have two weeks in Kenya to film and photograph the incredible landscapes and diverse wildlife here. In this episode, we visit Maguni a traditional working cattle ranch in the Laikipia region of Kenya. Being a spur of the moment invitation this morning, we had no idea what to expect. So we're at Maguni Cattle Ranch at the moment, which is a traditional typical Kenyan cattle farm and there is just so much going on right now I almost don't know where to point my camera there's noises there's movement there's just so much going on the difficulty is translating the chaos into an ordered composition I'm firing off a lot of shots to try and just get that one perfect moment when you get the shape right or the perfect separation between the foreground and the background the light is actually a little bit harsh, but I'm trying to use that to my advantage. And at the moment, they're just separating the calves in order to brand them. I kind of want to jump in. I'm worried I'm going to be taken out by a load of cows. So much going on, but this is so photo. It's a bit grim, to be honest, but it's really photogenic. The challenge is to try and capture the story, so I'm using a high aperture and trying to get lots of depth to the image. Something going on in the foreground and then distinguish shapes in the background. I'm not going to lie, this is really quite grim, but it's reality and it's fascinating to photograph. The light's a bit harsh at the moment, but I'm trying to use that to my advantage and get some really interesting shapes, so silhouettes against the sky or this tree that I'm underneath right now. Now it's my turn. I've decided to try something a bit different and use my infrared camera to emphasize the gritty nature of what we're photographing. This is where they're burning all the firewood to get the brands really, really hot. And there's some really good shapes here and most of it is actually silhouetted because the sun's behind us. So again, with my infrared, I'm looking for shapes and hopefully I can take a shape when they're like stoking the fire and then they've got a really nice shape We've got the barrels here with all the flames, obviously. We've got the acacia tree on the right-hand side just framing my shot. And most of it will be very contrasty black and white, full of silhouettes and shadows and everything. A little, I think it'll look really good. Having photographed all the activity around the pen itself, we've got permission from the ranch owner Jackie to climb over the fence and get closer to the action. When photographing events such as this, it is always worth trying to get as close as possible and use a wide angle lens. There might be a higher chance of breaking your camera or one of your legs, but it always leads to a much more energetic and dramatic image. This is pretty intense. Basically what they're doing here is they're castrating them, they're branding them pretty much all in the same area. And there's quite a lot going on, so it's pretty difficult to photograph because it's, it's mayhem, basically. But it's really photogenic. It's quite brutal, but you know, this is how they do things here. There's smoke everywhere, there's activity. For photographers, this is just perfect. However, it is very, very bright, contrasty light, which makes it very difficult. 
But to sort of counteract that, I've got my infrared camera out, which actually works really well with contrasty scenes. So obviously we've got blue skies, clouds, that's all gonna go really dark, really dramatic. And I'm hoping the shapes work really well with infrared. So as you can see now, just about to brand this one. We've got all different letters and, and numbers just to identify that particular calf. In the UK, it's quite a similar process, but it's all like, you know, it's in sheds and it's all done with tags rather than brands. But they can't do it with tags here because the tags in their ears get stuck in the thorns where they graze. So this is a much more efficient way of doing it. Twenty minutes later, the calves have been branded and castrated and have rejoined their mothers on the ranch. While it was pretty gruesome at times, it was fascinating to see how a traditional cattle ranch is run. From a photographic perspective, visiting Magruni offered us a chance to capture authentic images of rural life in Kenya. These unexpected encounters are the exact reason that we both find travel photography so exciting, and why we would encourage you to talk to the locals. Sometimes the things that you can't plan from thousands of miles away turn out to provide some of the best photographic opportunities.